prophet now lived in a time when people had turned away from the path of righteousness. Corruption and immorality had spread throughout the land. Despite these circumstances, Nau remained devoted to God and committed to fulfilling his commandments. As a messenger of God, Nau's primary mission was to guide his people and warn them of the impending punishment if they did not repent. For years, Nau preached and advised his community, urging them to abandon their wicked ways and worship the one true God. However, the people of Nau's time paid little heed to his words. They mocked and ridiculed him, dismissing his message as mere delusions. They were blinded by their arrogance and material desires. Refusing to acknowledge the consequences of their actions, undeterred by the mockery and disbelief, now remained steadfast in his mission. He beseeched God for help, praying for guidance and mercy. In response to his prayers, God revealed to Na that a great flood would be sent to cleanse the earth and punish the unbelievers. Upon receiving this divine message, Na began constructing an enormous ark as per God's instructions. Day and night, he toiled tirelessly, building the vessel that would safeguard his family and a select group of believers, along with a pair of every species of animal. As the ark neared completion, Na continued to invite his people to repent and join him on the ark. But only a handful of individuals responded to his call. Those who chose to board the ark were driven by faith and a desire for salvation. Finally, the day arrived when the floodwaters gushed forth from the earth and the sky as prophesied. The torrential rain poured relentlessly, and the sea swelled, engulfing the land. The ark, floating atop the raging waters, remained safe and secure, for 40 days and 40 nights, the floodwaters surged, erasing all traces of the sinful civilization. The disbelievers who had scorned Nuz warnings now found themselves drowning in regret. Only Th, 